hi cancer welcome into your weekly reading with your girl welcome to my channel welcome back if you're already subscribed my name is Serena and I am a psychic and I use tarot and oracle to help with my abilities so cancer cancer placements so you're looking good this week the only thing is this Virgo energy the hermit um this energy is basically you being in a state of crisis okay with the number nine you have um um come to a this is a culmination of a cycle right you've you're coming to like the tip the head of a cycle that you're in I don't know why I can't talk you I could actually be picking up your energy right now I feel like this week okay you could feel okay because there's so much going on you're definitely it's like it's like you're overthinking okay overthinking overthinking so to like to subside the overthinking or to like negate the overthinking to distract yourself from the overthinking you actually might try to not think at all and be kind of avoidant be kind of cold I'm going to clarify but this herm I'm going to I'm, I'm interested to see what clarifies this hermit energy because I feel like you might be a little bit hesitant to move forward and this is some type of blockage here so energetically i'm feeling something might be blocking you this week okay so don't let your negative thoughts get the best of you because i am seeing that you're in a really good energy you're very intelligent you know right from wrong like you know what it is that you need to do Libra energy you see yourself being successful you have a vision you know exactly what it is that you need to do to get what you want so don't be afraid this is also a rite of passage energy with the hermit this is actually as much as you're overthinking this is actually a gateway and a portal for you to walk through to get to your success so be aware of what you're thinking about make sure you're speaking about what you want not what you don't want don't think about your fears think about speak positivity into your life speak about what you know to be true because you have all the answers here and you're going to be very successful whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish here you're going to do it you have the support of the sun okay you have the support of the world you have worldly support i'm seeing people that would be more than willing to help you so don't let negative thoughts or like don't let your thoughts hold you back from doing that thing it's like that one thing that you need to do or that one day that you're a little bit hesitant that might be the day where if you would have just persisted you would have gotten what you wanted if that makes sense um don't hold back this week you're look at this the empress do not hold back this week. You, this is a total realization of something that you're trying to create. The three of swords is like thinking too much. And so it's like this week you're really going to be mastering your thought process. And yeah, mastering your thought process and realizing how your thoughts really do create your reality. Your thoughts are creating your reality here this week. There's something that you're literally thinking into existence. You're speaking it into existence. Yeah. 
you have this ability you have this wisdom to manifest whatever it is that you're thinking about this week so let's see look the ten of swords clarifying the hermit told you this ten of swords to the hermit there's too many there's just too many thoughts this week cancer there's too many negative self sabotaging self inflicting thoughts that that are just keeping you in bed it's almost like you're thinking so much you don't even want to get out of bed you're thinking so much you're not even progressing so there is a cycle right i talked about this there's a culmination of experiences that are coming to a head in particular a cycle of thinking a thought process that you've had for some time that you're releasing this is a rite of passage for you to walk through a completion of a cycle okay you're realizing how powerful you are this week cancer total realization seven of swords again more thinking i'm so i'm so happy because my intuition was on point with that too many thoughts here 17 swords 17 okay it's too much you don't need to think that much about it and we have the princess of swords i don't feel like this is you i feel like this is someone else there could be um a female in particular someone younger than you um this could also be children or um someone that's Im uh, immature than you that they could be um they could and have influence on why you're overthinking this week six of wands seven of swords princess of swords the fool it's like this princess of, of swords is influencing this new timeline so who is this putting some type of information in your ear or you're having a conversation with this person and it's like This person might actually give you that piece of information that you need, Aquarius energy. Maybe you're actually needing to, because you you're what's crowning your reading is the King of Swords. What well, maybe you're actually needing to do is kind of take on a perspective of someone, um, of someone that's younger than you. I feel like you're needing to kind of think like a student, and um, with this feminine energy be more receptive to your thoughts Ooh, i like that you're definitely ooh with the empress i could definitely be talking to a masculine energy you could definitely be a masculine energy um and so that would even be more reason that you're needing to be more receptive this week in order for you to act because there's a lot of thoughts coming through and instead of acting on all those thoughts it's like you're needing to just let let your thoughts pass through and you can still be successful you can still be successful with a lot on your mind it's about how you're entertaining these thoughts but yeah i feel like you need to kind of think a little bit less and be true to who you are and who you want to be who you want to come uh who you want to become who you want uh what you want to create oh interesting then we have the prince of swords here so i feel like there could be a lot of outside influence on your decisions but um you know use your own discernment on whether or not these influences are conducive to your life or are they hindering you okay so some people might be some people in your energy 
it might not be the best, might not be looking out for you and your best interest. Um, but other people in your energy, it's like you can learn from them even though they're not on your level. You have two sevens here, 77. Okay, the number seven could be significant this week. What else for cancer? Tell me what else for cancer this week. Tell me what else for cancer. We got Libra energy here, Taurus, fixed signs, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, um, heavy Leo, heavy Taurus, Virgo, Cancer Pisces. We've got you coming out with the moon, and then we also have the nine of cups coming out, okay? So we've got a full moon this week, so we got that moon card there to the nine of cups two of wands on the back of the deck something that you've been planning on you will get more clarity on this thing on this vision you're going to get clarity on your like relationship status you're going to get clarity on why you're single or um you could be getting clarity in regards to someone that you're dealing with and their emotions um more clarity on emotions and feelings with you and in regards to someone that um you have in your energy romantically okay that's what i'm getting hmm I do see something happening here in regards to your love life this week. Um, like, ooh, okay. So you might have a little sexy time this week, Cancer. Oh, especially with that full moon, okay. And uh, some of you might actually have more than one person um, that you're <laughs> that you're dealing with. So be careful with that. But I feel like. I feel like, you know, a, a lot is changing for you this week, Cancer. I feel like you're releasing a lot of negative. And I feel like you're stepping into positive. And I don't want you to um, get kind of stuck. Because I'm getting an energy of... What you're walking into, the energy that you're about to step into is very um, un untapped, I feel, even for you. And so um, it can be kind of scary when you are manifesting big things and when you are ascending and you have to maintain discipline you have to maintain that high frequency. And so there's an energy here of once you feel, because you are going to be getting rewarded by the universe. You are going to have a breakthrough. You are going to receive your accolades and receive your flowers. And I feel like this sense of success, this victory that you're going to be receiving um we have health it's important to maintain your health because i feel like you're going to be so high up that you kind of veer off and you kind of um almost block your blessings by distracting yourself with other people instead of focusing on your own light and your own power and your own creations does that make sense we have safe travel and health we have new beginnings there's this energy of you traveling to a more healthy era in your life completely new beginnings but there's also an energy of you wanting to cling on to 
people in an old timeline. So this week is really going to be asking you to move forward and push forward and truly cut the cords from the past and have a healthy day-to-day -day routine. And I'm seeing physical travel for you if that's something that you can do um, or that's an option for you. Traveling is really going to help that free spirit energy um, you know, in you, within you, it's going to help you, it's going to help that energy live through you, that free spirited energy by traveling, or it's like you kind of need to, regardless, have that free spirit energy, even if you can't physically travel somewhere else, you kind of just need to Un, be untouched unattached fly you need to fly you need to be free spread your wings what's crowning this reading is the king of swords libra energy strong libra energy here this is about your relationships but this is also about you valuing yourself and you building wealth and continuing to create without being tied down to people just for temporary satisfaction not saying that you can't have fun here and there but there's an essence of needing to be free and travel around and not get stuck with people especially that are in old timelines so the king of swords you know it is about set setting boundaries right and and being truthful and the nine of cups is about being solo nine we have nine nine here the hermit and the nine of cups that's a, it's a single energy i don't think you're going to be single for long but for now you're needing to just kind of be in your own energy and be free and stand 10 toes down on what you believe that's what i'm picking up for you cancer so we do have the mistake oracle be careful be careful that you're not making any mistakes this week that's why i was kind of talking about that so i hope that was for somebody let me know in the comments like the video and subscribe to my channel that's what i have for you this week cancer always forward never back okay i love you guys focus on your wealth your stealth your money all right bye